Last football season did not go the way Bowling Green had hoped. They finished the year at 3-9. and nine. They lost more than a few players to injuries, transfers, and graduation. So some less than ideal weather sent the Falcons inside Perry Fieldhouse, but that was no trouble for Scott Leffler and his team. They brought all the energy today. Hey guys, Chase Bachman, BG Falcon Media. As most of you know, no game day is complete without the tailgate, and especially that's true when it's BG's homecoming. I'm here to find all the best food, drinks, and games that BG tailgaters have to offer. Let's go. Well, as they say, two MAC championships are better than one. That's what Matt Fannin and his BGSU women's soccer team accomplished today when they beat Eastern Michigan in penalty kicks. Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. We are just days away from round one of the Marathon Classic. That means last minute preparations are happening today at Highland Meadows. Mari Hill is in her first season playing basketball for BGSU. As the starting point guard for the Orange and Brown, Hill has been stellar. She's only played in 10 games for the Falcons, but her play on the court has been historic. Being born in Nagakute, Japan, Hill is the first Japanese native to play women's basketball in mid-American conference history. Playing at Devon College was one of my big dreams for a long time. Bowl Bowling Green offered me, and it was just like, a great opportunity for me to, you know, play basketball like at higher level and I love the people here and they are like basketball style and it was just perfect for me. Hill has plenty of challenges off the court. Her biggest one, adjusting to life in the United States and that includes perfecting her English. It's just so different, like food is different, language is different and like Nothing the same, actually. <laughs> Hill began her collegiate career at the junior college level, winning a national championship at Tallahassee Community College. She transferred the next year to South Georgia Technical College, where her play caught the attention of BGSU staff. Our recruiting coordinator was down at a tournament down in Texas, um, and her junior college was playing in the national tournament. Um, so that was sort of our first knowing of her, and then we called and followed up and had her visit. And and that's how she's a Bowling Green. The five foot six Hill has thrived at BGSU, starting every game so far this year. She leads the team in steals and ranks in the top 10 in the MAC in assists. It was just my dream, and I wanted to see like how much like I can contribute for the team in like higher level. So that was like my new talent. Mari Hill is crossing oceans to fulfill a lifelong dream of playing Division I college basketball and making history while doing so. Chase Bachman reporting for BG Falcon Media. Welcome back. The Falcons are back on the gridiron tonight for more midweek action. This time, BGSU hosts the Ohio Bobcats. It's the Falcons' last home game of the year, so a chance for the seniors to leave the Doit with a win. But it won't be easy. The Bobcats have won the last three meetings. Head coach Scott Leffler had plenty of good things to say about their program. We're playing a very, very tough, disciplined, hardworking, wired right organization. And uh, I think uh, the, the, the film that I've watched on them already, I'm very impressed with them. They're tough, they're smart, they get it. And uh, anytime you're tough and smart, you've got a chance in this conference and they got a great quarterback. So they're wired the right way. Uh, they play great defense. They're very physical up front. Offensive line, I think, is uh, outstanding. So yeah. moving to the hardwood, women's hoops were in action last night. In the first half, Katerion Thompson moves the ball up the court to Katie Hempfling, and Hempfling with the easy layup. Hempfling was two points shy of a triple-double. Later in the half, Hempfling with the dish to Kaylee Hall. Hall, the freshman, had 12 points. Then later in the game, Hall passing it inside to Angela Perry. Perry, the senior, with a nice turnaround move, and she had 20 points on the night as the Falcons coast to an 88-54 victory. Shifting to hockey, the Falcons are back home this week after their long trip to Alaska. The Orange and Brown host Lake Superior State this weekend. Head coach Ty Agner is excited to play in front of a home crowd once again. I think our, our 
focus now is being at home is a good thing. We haven't been at home a whole lot this this first semester, so being able to play two home games, I think our guys are excited about that, and then we'll deal with next week next week. And that's it for sports this week, Angie.